Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Set the Hook with T.L. Broyles is live. What's up? Hey, uh, the first thing I want to say is I, I appreciate everybody that is tuning in to my live broadcast. Uh, broadcast, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, the cold air is messing with me a little bit. Um, the uh, this next thing I want to say is, guys, I have not stopped fishing, doing my fishing channel shows my videos i have not stopped doing that with the music and everything but it's been raining like it's raining right now it's been raining like almost four days straight and i can't get out there um i'm not gonna go out there and stand in the rain right now because the last time i did it i did get sick when it was cold now when it's warm i do it <laughs> so but uh i want to thank everybody for tuning in to my live broadcast guys um if you are a subscriber, thank you guys for tuning in. If you are just a viewer, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. NYPA, what's up? Ah, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I'm going live. Now, I've been doing it now. Uh, this is my second Saturday. Hey, what? Junie, what's up? What's going on, Junie? Hey, you and NY, uh, PA, what's up? How y'all doing? Thank y'all for tuning in to my live stream, guys. Hey, I appreciate you 100. Um, I do want to say now I can keep my uh, comments on the screen as long as I got the phone vertical and I had to learn that. Hey, listen, I'm being real about it. I can uh, keep, keep all my messages on the screen. All right, guys, uh, I do want everybody that that is watching my screen, my screen, like it's a movie, huh? My live stream. Um, if you don't say anything to me, guys, I can't see you. So you have to say something to me and I will recognize you. Okay. I know that hey, I know that I know the feeling, man. Hey, NYPA, I know it, man. Uh hey, I'm glad you're gonna be able to get in there and get to do some do some fishing because Man, and I know how it is. Uh, when you're doing a lot of work, you cannot get off to go do what you want to do. <laughs> and that's just how it is. I, I'm going through the same thing. Uh, luckily, after all this rain cuts out, I'm going to be able to get out there and uh, and get back in the game uh, on the real. Um, all right, guys. The first thing I want to say is uh, this particular live stream is about the Yum Craw Bug. And... The young crab bug, if okay, uh, it to all the hardcore bad guy bass guys, you already know about the young crab bug. But the the newer people to fishing, they don't know, and I want to let everybody know about this particular lure. This, let me get it right, guys. This is the young crab bug. This is the black with red flake. Okay, man. Hey, you are very welcome. Junior, you're very welcome, man. Um, they got Walmart. I mean, it's it's really cheap. And I do a lot of shopping at Walmart. Uh, I mean, the cheap stuff works to me just as good as the high price stuff. But I do buy some high price stuff every now and then. But I mean, literally every now and then. It doesn't take all that. You're trying to go ha go have fun fishing. You know what I'm saying? Uh you don't have to be broke to go fishing. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm behind you, man. Um, all right, guys. This is the the red and black flake. Or oh, this is the black with the red flake. I said that wrong. Yum craw bug. Uh, what makes the yum craw bug so good, in my opinion? First thing is look at that motion, guys. All right. I'm not shaking this lure. It is just a, it's just shaking and vibrating. And it's got a lot of motion to itself. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, for real. The crawls really are 100% uh, necessary. Uh, NYPA, I'm behind you, man. I'm behind you. They are because these particular lures, guys, you catch 
everything. Now I'm going to talk about bass first. I fished these lures in ponds. I fished them in rivers and they stone cold work. Okay. Okay. Farm, what's up, man? Okay, okay. Um, I, I'm with you on that uh, uh, on that feedback. Yeah, that's right, man. Thank, thank you, man, Junie. Thank you. Yeah, you can. You don't have to spend all your money. To, to catch fish, you know, yeah, I, I try to keep it real. I try to keep it 100 because I'm just a regular guy like everybody else. And, and okay, hardcore bass guys, I'm not hating. If you look at this video, I'm not hating. But everybody it doesn't have a, a, a big bass boat. Everybody doesn't have a flat bottom. You know, everybody doesn't. Some people just fish from the bank. Now, I can fish from a boat or I can fish from the bank, but I really prefer fishing from the bank. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I grew up doing. Um, but you want to try to, if you, if you want to just have fun and let it be affordable, stick with Walmart type stuff. <laughs> just being real. All right. This is the, the red, the black with red flake guys. Let's get this together. This is the Alabama craw version. Okay, so it's got that green on top, and it's got that that orange bottom. Now, I was watching another another YouTuber when I discovered these. I discovered them like four years ago, and these particular lures, guys, man, they catch everything. They literally catch everything. Okay, if you fish in a river, and and you say, well, you know, hey, I want to see, uh, I want to catch me some catfish. I took the craw bug. Uh, four years ago, and it, it actually was flooded. I went down to the Tennessee Tom Bigby early in the morning before I went to work one morning, guys, and took the crow bug, rigged it up, threw it out there. It was still dark. Bam, channel cat, and I've got the video, and it's actually, uh, uh, it is uh, fishing for catfish with jigs. If you want to go back into my library and check it out. This Alabama crow rocks. You catch a lot of a lot of everything you catch uh you catch white bass you catch largemouth spots channel cats i've caught channel cats i have not caught a flathead yet on one but i've caught channel cats on several channel cats and if you go to that video uh catching catfish on, on jigs you'll see that um i have uh i have caught buffalo I have caught a uh, drum and I, I mean, I know everybody doesn't eat all that kind of stuff. You know, everybody doesn't, but I'm just talking about catching cause I'm just catching them, having fun with them, you know, but I have caught everything. Okay. This is the, uh, this is the June bug. You've got mail. If you ask me, Sorry about that, guys. I can't control that phone. Somebody just texted me. I'm not, we're not going to worry about a text. We're going to keep doing the show. Um, this is the June bug, or it's going to be the June, blo June bug with white flake. It's going to be one of those two. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't remember what the names of these are because they're, they're in the case. Now, guys, these are the bigger ones as well. These are the bigger craw bugs. These lures just rock. I caught a really nice channel cat uh, on one of these, and I caught a big old, big old drum about. Okay, the drum was about six pounds I caught, uh, the biggest one on one of these. And everybody doesn't want to catch a drum. Everybody know everybody don't want to catch a buffalo, but I mean, I'm just telling you what I have done. Uh, I've caught a lot of bass on them. But they were like three or four, three or four pounds, you know. Uh, to me, that's a big bass. I like three or four pounds of really nice bass. But where's that green? Okay. Uh, I would think this is this is gonna be a um, 
uh, a pumpkin red flake. That's what I would think that is. And if you got guys, if I'm not saying the name right name, you're welcome to say, hey, T.L., that's called a such and such color. That's fine because I don't have the colors here. The colors are just, uh, the, the you know, the lures have just got the colors on them. I mean, they don't have a rope on, on the pack what it is. But um, this particular uh, pack that has all these different colors in it, the box, and I'm going to the smaller ones now. It's going to be like, it's like 12 bucks, guys. See, these are the smaller ones that come in there. And it's the Alabama Craw. I know that's Alabama Craw. Really nice lure. Great craftsmanship, guys. Um, they're like 13 bucks. It's like $12.83 now. When I bought them, they were $10. But that was four years ago. But now they're like $13. But it's worth it. It really is worth it, guys. All right. There it is. Uh, I want to say this is the, I want to say it's two inches. These are the little two inch ones. The other ones are like three inches. The other ones are like three inches. These are the two inch ones. Um, These lures just rock, man. All right. This is actually, this is actually one. Now, I didn't rig this up for the show. Look at that. It's got my fishing line on it. See that? That's letting you know I'm just being honest, <laughs> being real about it. Uh, this is how I rig the lure. And you get the uh, jig heads in the pack right here. Let me get you a jig head out, guys. One second. Put this down. Okay, this is the jig head that comes with it. And it's going to be weedless. They, they come in the pack. There it is. There's the hook. All right, guys. Now, this is the one that comes in the pack. <laughs> or, now, I, I want to be sure about this. I don't want to lie to you guys. I did buy me some um, wacky whack'em heads. And they had a weed guard on it. This could be those. This could be those because I I haven't had haven't haven't had to buy any more in a while. I bought a whole lot of them, and uh, if this is what it is, you need to try to get the wacky whackum heads because they work actually better. Matter of fact, I know this is what that's what this is. Uh, the wacky whackum heads that you get at Walmart. Uh, they're by Arky, Arky Crappie Crankbait. That's right. The Arky Company makes those guys and or makes these. The one that comes in the box does not have a weed guard. I want to correct that. It's been a while. At least I'm being honest with you. But they do work. But those hooks are not as good as these hooks are. And they don't have a weed guard. I got, I got three or four of the hooks that came in the box broke by catfish. I caught the catfish, but it broke broke the hook off. They're not as strong. And I'm not hating on those particular hooks. I'm just being honest with you. So anyway, I bought the Wacky Wacky Heads because I, 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 I wanted to not get hung, and I'm just stuttering. I wanted to not get hung, and I wanted an effective hook that wouldn't break on the catfish because I just got lucky and none of them got off. You know, I caught all of them. But the Wacky Wackham Heads, uh, grab you some of those, and then you can work your lure a lot better without it getting hung, guys. All right. All right. Let me say this. <clears throat> when I worked, when I first saw this and, and, uh, and started working this particular lure, I did not see a video on how to use this. I just knew that a crawfish swims backwards. Okay? If you if you are new to fishing, if you are new to fishing and you don't really know that much about crawfish, guys, just being real about it, some people don't know. Crawfish swim backwards. They swim like this. And then they land. Boom. And then they swim again. That's how they swim. They don't, they crawl forward on the ground and on, on, 
uh, on the bottom like that. But when they swim, they swim like this. They swim backwards. So I rigged it up to fish it backwards. So your line is here. You see the line on there. And I'm talking to the new people that are, that are fishing. I'm not talking to, to any of you hardcore guys or anything like me. You know, I know y'all know. So you're fishing it backwards, and then you stop. Now, this is the deal. When you work the craw bug, I don't have a rod on my hand. I, I need to do a live show using the craw bug, no, um, up to date. Uh, you can go to my library and watch the video, okay? Catching catfish with jigs, and you'll see me working the craw bug. But you just reel it a little bit. You jerk it a little bit to you. Reel it a little bit and stop. Let it fall. That's making that craw, that fake crawfish look like a crawfish and it'll stop. Lots of times in my experience, that bass will see that craw bug. He won't hit it right off the bat off the bat. I had reeled him almost all the way to the bank and did that and stopped. And then they'll hit it. Bam! And they'll run with it. They don't hit it like a bass hits a worm lure. Uh, when you fish a worm lure and work it and stop it, nine times out of 10, the bass will hit it and you'll feel it go pop, 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 like a bluegill because the bass is actually eating that worm. He's sucking it in and his gills are opening up and he's swallowing it. That's not how they do the craw, uh, crawfish. When they, they'll hit that craw bug one time, sometime, bam, real hard. And, and this is my opinion that they are stunning that crawfish. So they think that craw, that craw bug is real. They'll hit it, bam. Don't move. Hold it. Then he'll pull it hard because he's going to pick it up and he's going to run with it. That's how they do. Now, it's strictly my experiences. Okay. Now, once you got it all, now this, this is, like I said, this is an old one right here. This is a real old one. This is one of the original ones when I first was fishing this. I caught three channel cats, guys. I caught three, three channel cats, and I caught a buffalo, and I want to say a drum. But when I was throwing this particular lure, it, the water was real high. It was flooded. I was in a Tennessee Tom Bigby. And what happened was I cast the lure out and I held my rod up like this, straight up and down. It was straight up and down. And I was watching the line and I noticed the fish were hitting that crab bug, pow, 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 before it even hit the bottom. And a few of the fish I file hooked. It hooked them in their side. And I kept when I would catch them, and I was like, why am I why, foul hooking them? I'm not even reeling them. Well, then it reality hit me, like I said a second ago. The fish will hit that crawfish to stun it or kill it. Pow! So the crawfish is unconscious where they can eat it without taking any of those claw, claws taking damage to themselves. If you catch bass, if you fish bass ponds a lot, you'll see... Uh, if they got crawfish in there, do you see a lot of the, the bass have like a, a red place around their mouth? Uh, a lot of bass fishermen call it lipstick. <laughs> they call it lipstick because the crawfish are, you know, they're, they're clamping, they're fighting back, and but they'll hit that crawfish, bam! When they get a, when they get enough experience with them, they'll hit them, whop, and they'll try to stun them or kill it. And there it is. But when you fish this craw bug, if you are in a river. I'll talk about ponds in a second. If you are in a river, when you throw it out, hold your rod up like you're doing a net rig and let it fall. See what happens. Lots of times, if there are a lot of fish in there, those, those catfish, those bass, whatever, they'll hit that crawl bug on the way down, whop, and you'll feel it, toot, toot, toot. Just leave it alone, and then they'll get it and run with it. They'll, they'll catch it before it gets all the way to the bottom. But this is how you rig it. This one's a little better. You can see this one a little better. I put it in there backwards, guys. If you do it like this, 
the weight when you really generally it'll sit like this and when you reel it back it'll do like that and all the claws and stuff be going this way and they'll be flopping this way and then you you stop it you know settle down boom and that dog on fish will nail it the one thing that i did find out about when you buy the craw bug lots of times guys this 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 hole right here with your line where your line goes through will be stopped up with paint. Now I can't tell you why it's like that, <laughs> but it'll be stopped up with paint lots of times. I got like five of them out of the pack, and you get a lot of hooks in there, you know. So what I was doing was I was taking uh just one of these circle hooks, catfish circle hooks that I already had because you know I fish for big catfish. I just got it out, and then I take that hook and run it through there and bust it out. And I know, uh, like just like that, and then there it is. Now I know all you hardcore fishermen already know this, guys. Remember, I'm talking to the newer people. Uh, that's why a lot of new people come to my channel, and that's what my channel really is about. Which I love talking to other experienced fishermen too. You know, bottom line. You guys, y'all know what I know, and I love getting info from y'all. And I, and you already know that I uh, put it in effect. But uh, the newer people, when you buy the crawl bug, you may mail. have to knock the paint out of the hole, okay? So just don't let it frustrate you. Just get have you some hooks before you even go and get your hook or um, maybe a safety pin. I mean, you know, something sharp and knock that paint out of there. Okay, I showed you this one. I think I showed you that uh, that pumpkin red flake one as well. Like I said, this is a small one. Now I'm gonna give you a side. Go let go ahead and let you guys see the size difference in these lures. There, look at that. Now these are in the same pack. Let me turn that over. Sorry about that, guys. Turn this over. Turn these jokers over. These are the same lures, guys. My hands are in the way a little bit, and I am so sorry, but I want you to see the size difference. Look at that. There's a big size difference. Now, this size, I've caught all my fish on. This size, I've had them hit it, but they didn't take it. And I'm betting the fish just weren't big enough or they weren't bold enough to hit a crawfish that's three inches. But they wouldn't make the lure that big if there wasn't something out there that would hit it, right? So I just haven't caught it. Um, now I want to let me show you the case. One second, guys, let me show you the case. Now, this is the original case right here. As you see, it's old and it's faded and everything. Look at that. That is my, this is the same pack that I originally had. That's the case. It's 13 bucks now. That's pretty much what it's going to look, look like. Now, there is one out and it's, um, whoever the guy is that's working with Yum, he's, his picture is on here too. It's the picture of him right here and then it's the crawl bug and that's how it looks on the new one if you want to get the little single packs you can get the little single packs the yum crawl bug there it is this is that uh this is that june bug uh blue white flake whatever it, whatever one you want to call it now you can get these single packs at walmart now Look, I'm going to be straight with you. I got mine out of the value box. I, I shop at Amory, Mississippi. A Amory, Mississippi a lot. Excuse me, guys. And because they're, Aberdeen is like right down the road. That's where I fish for the big catfish at the Lock and Dam down there. There's a lot of fish and stuff in there. And you can go to the value box, the Yum value box. And every company has got a value box. Rapala's got a uh, a value box. Um, the Ozark Trail stuff, they just in a, their own box and they're hanging up. Um, 
you know, they're value anyway. They Walmart's brand, right? That's Walmart's brand. Um, you can get the um, who who is it? It's uh, I can't think of. Them. Well, my bad. I can't think of the name of the other the other one. And uh, but anyway, you can go to the to the value box section, guys, and you can get these packs. Now they're like three bucks online. When I bought these, they were like two dollars, but that was four years ago. Okay, so if they're like three bucks online, I'm pretty sure it's around three bucks, close to four dollars for one pack, where you're gonna buy the whole kit for thirteen. Okay, but guys, I'm telling you, it's worth it. They catch everything. Okay, okay, I, I know that's right. All right, all right. For run, hey, I'm saying if you don't value hunt, you're gonna spend a lot of money when you're gonna be fishing. <laughs> Tell them what I said, man. <laughs> so when we go 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 look in the value uh boxes, guys, and you can get these. This is the Alabama. I'll show you this in a second. This is the Alabama Craw. The lights are so bright. There it is. I want you guys to be able to see it. That reflection throws off my camera. And this is the only thing about the Alabama craw. When you, if you go and get a pack, all right, look at that. It's completely orange. Okay. Don't settle for the first one you see. If you get that pack and it looks mostly orange, look in there and see if you can find one that's got some green on it. That's right. Exactly. That's right. That's right, for Ron. That, uh, <laughs> that's on the real. You've got mail. Sorry about that, guys. I'm still going to get Texas and junk. My phone's going to react. <laughs> All right, there it is. But look for the one ones that's got some, some green in it. Like these. Now I caught, so, I caught, I bought so many packs, right? That's got a little more green in it than that one. That came from a value box pack. I've used, I fished all the original ones of the small Alabama Cross. Look, I had to buy some. All right, here's a good one. This one's already got the hook in it. I was fishing with it. See, it's got a lot of the green in it. You have to, um, you have to look through there and find the pack that's got the ones with the green or you won't get any they out they'll be completely orange um it uh for run every one of these lures every one of them works in the muddy stained water i was catching my first channel cats on these and the muddy, the water river was swole. It was the water was so high down at that spot I call Bass City, um, that you couldn't walk all the way down to it. You had to stand sort of on the bank and cast out because the ground was not there and the water was super muddy. And every one of these lures, the the catfish, the uh, buffaloes, uh. I think in the in the drums they all hit they all hit all the colors on on in that uh, crawl bug kit every one of them so they're all just as good all of them are just as good in muddy water and that and that's the truth uh, you're very welcome you're very welcome man very welcome um when you are in a pond I'm just gonna get this big one. The, I found this for me, this color, but it was still the small one now. It was a little little one-inch one, okay? I've caught bass on that small one in ponds and in, in, in ponds. I have not thrown them in a lake. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sure they'll work in a lake, but in ponds, they did a lot better for me. Um, I caught two Three, I've caught three out of a pond, and it's been that um this right here. No, no, it's not. I apologize. 
It is the black with red flake. I thought I, that's what I had in my hand. That's not what I had in my hand. And uh, I've caught three in three different ponds. Now, one pond was two of them, and one of them was one with this particular lure. But it's a small one, a little one-inch one. There it is. And uh, on the on the the blue with white flake, I've caught one in a pond using this. So, and, and what they did was, uh, the, they waited, they waited and the, they were bass. The bass were waiting until I would get close to the bank with the lure when I'm bringing the lure in. And when it got close to the bank, they'll come up, bam, and they hit it. And I guess they, that's where the bass were laying. Uh, or maybe they just followed it. But every time I would do it, I would bring it, stop it, bring it, and stop it, shake it a little bit, bring it, stop it, and they'll hit it right before, right before it got to where the bank was. Right. Um, guys, I'm telling you, try the crawl bug. It's a great value that the lure set is really banging. And if, if you guys fish anything like me, you're going to catch enough fish that they're going to tear the lures up. because And they will, okay? I'm just going to be real. That's why I had to go buy uh, replacements to go in the case. The the fish, if you, if you catch about three fish with them, they're big, especially the catfish. They're going to tear that lure or the lure ain't going to be no good. It's going to tear the, the I noticed that a lot of times they'll bite the arms off of the lures, guys, first. They'll bite the arms off and that's another reason I was thinking they probably were hitting it to kill it. They were biting the arms off. And, you know, and they, I still would catch fish. And then when they bit both arms off, I just, they'll mess the head up all in one lick. And I just go throw it away. I put it in my little garbage bag I had with me when I be fishing. And when I, I get to a store, when I lift the bank, I would throw, throw them all away. Uh, I'd have to go to Walmart and spend some more money. So, I'm telling you, they work really good, but you do have to replace them. Uh, it's a great value. I promise they work. Uh, ponds, large rivers, small rivers. I have not, I have not, I hadn't even worked them in a small river yet. I sure didn't. Now, now guys, you have to kind of look at it from my point of view. I'm doing, I'm doing a fishing show. You know, I'm doing a, a, a YouTube fishing channel. So a lot of the lures I use once or twice, and I won't use them anymore because I got to go to something else because I'm, I'm trying to show people, uh, you know, what works. So sometimes I just forget about lures. I'm not going to lie, I had quit using the, the crawl bug. I haven't used the crawl bug now in about two years because I'm so busy trying to do other lures. So, you know, but... They super work. If you're just fishing for fun, you're trying to get down, give it a shot. Go buy, go buy the pack for $13. I promise you it is the, the value is there. It's a it's a bang for buck lure. And I did I didn't have any kind of sense or anything like that. I wasn't even using sense. That's something I just started using. Uh any kind of fish at attractants. I just started doing that uh on the last well. Last year, it was last year, this crawl bug was as is out of the case, as is out of the pack, and it it worked so good. I was so excited when I when I used it uh, that I used, like I said, I used all my lures up because the fish were I, I lost probably four, four or five lures the first time I used them from fish just tearing them up, and I was catching the fish. So, you know. Give them a try. See what's up. Let me know uh, how you do. Let me know how you do. Uh, guys, if you are just a viewer to my channel, hey, I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. If you are a subscriber to my channel, hey, I appreciate you 100. Thank you for your support. But if you're just a viewer, you know that uh, subscribe button is right there. You can just hit it one time and get all of my content when it comes out. 
Okay, the pro course. Okay, I, I'm feeling that. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Hey, uh, and 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 that's that's a good strategy. That's a good strategy for Ron. Show sure is. Um, uh, guys, if if you would like to support the channel and help the channel out, you can go down to the set the hook stores down in my description. Uh, that link is right there, and you can go get you a hoodie or a t-shirt or a coffee mug. Um, I will have some more stuff in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, for Ron, man. And you know what? That's what it's all about. Uh, I, I really enjoy doing these live streams because I can really talk to you guys, man, and then we can and we can share information. You know, I'm I'm the same way, man. Yeah, and 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 to you and everybody else who is out here on my live stream, if I'm live streaming. If you say something to me, I'm going I'm definitely going to respond, you know, and let you know uh, that I am paying attention to what you're saying, because you guys, without you guys, we here on YouTube are nobody. If we can't interact with one another, we ain't doing any good. If you are another YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? So, um, guys, hey, I appreciate you. Um. I will have a live stream for tomorrow. I will let you know now that I know how to schedule um, my my live streams. Uh, it, it'll be out there, and everybody who participates, I appreciate you one hundred. All right, guys, keep on going fishing. Have fun. Be safe. Peace out. See you at the next live stream. <laughs>